Your vehicle needs three things in order to create combustion. First will be fuel, second will be a spark, and third will be oxygen. And oxygen is, well, just air. So today we're going to be going over your air intake system to show how that oxygen gets into your vehicle. All right, so it's all going to start right here in the front of your vehicle. So while you're driving, air is going to be going into these vents here, and some's going to go up and get caught into this little opening right here. This opening is just going to collect a big amount of air, and it's going to put it into a smaller tube. So as you can see here from the back, it starts with this big opening here, and it's actually going to narrow it down, and it's going to be going down, and it's going to be going into this big box right here. So this big plastic box is actually going to be what holds your air filter. And your air filter is, well, it does exactly what it says it does. It filters the air. So inside it's going to be a filter like this, usually kind of a paper uh, one like this. Um, and it collects all the debris that's in the air. So when you're driving, there's going to be lots of contaminants in the air. You know, like bugs and dirt and gravel and any kind of th thing that you don't want in your engine. You want the cleanest air possible to be entering your engine. And you want any of those contaminants. So this is actually going to filter this out. And this usually does a pretty good job. So this will be in here. And you can clean that out every once in a while or replace it every couple thousand miles. So that goes to there. So now, once the air is clean, it's going to continue on on these tubes here. And the tube will just keep continuing until it hits the throttle body. So the throttle body is right here. Now, in some vehicles, there's actually going to be a sensor in between here, which is called a MAF airflow sensor or a mass airflow sensor. And what that does is actually sends a signal to the ECU, your computer system of your vehicle, and tells you uh, tells the vehicle how much air is actually coming through the system right now in order to correlate that to how much fuel and everything that needs to match that air that's coming in. And on some vehicles, there will actually be some hoses that kind of come off and go down into the engine. That's more just for like compressed air that is kind of caught in the engine for blow-by that air will come back up and just get recirculated again. Okay, so we'll continue following the air down past your MAF airflow sensor if you have one on your vehicle. And it's always going to end up directly into your throttle body. So your throttle body is going to be connected to your gas pedal. It used to be connected by an actual wire. So you could, it used to be able to actually see a, an actual wire that would come out and open your throttle body open and closed. Nowadays, it's actually by an electrical wire. So a wire goes from here to your ECU, to the uh, engine's computer system, and then that to the gas pedal. So it just sends a signal. So there's a sensor on your gas pedal, and there's a sensor up here. So when you push down your gas pedal, it'll actually correlate with how far open your throttle body is. So the throttle body works with a butterfly valve. So inside there's a valve that opens and closes on a pivot. So when you hit the gas pedal, it opens more, which allows more air in. When you let off the gas pedal, it closes it, allows less air in. And that pretty much determines how much uh, gas needs to be equaled to the amount of air that's going in. So on the side of your throttle body here is this little, uh, this is actually a sensor here. This is your throttle positioning sensor. So this again is connected to your ECU. So when that butterfly valve opens, it actually rotates this at the same time. So when that rotates, it rotates a, a pin inside here, which has an electric current going through it. And that's going to send to the computer saying how much air is, or at what position your throttle body is open. So if it opens more, this is going to be like, this is going to tell the computer, hey, throttle body is open more. Therefore, you're going to need more fuel in order to max, uh, match the more air that's going through. So now the reason behind all the sensors is to get the correct ratio of fuel to air going in so you can get the best miles per gallon plus the best power ratio um, between the two. So you're trying to get the best ratio, which is about a 14.7 to 1 of air to fuel. So you need about 14.7 uh, parts air to 1 part fuel. So now on some other vehicles, if you do not have the MAF airflow sensor, you're going to have one called a MAP. So M-A-P. That'll be your mass absolute pressure sensor. And that's actually going to be located down below, usually somewhere in your intake manifold. So that's going to be your main difference between those two sensors. Your MAP one is always going to be after your throttle body. Your MAF is always going to be located before the throttle body. And lastly, there's going to be a temperature sensor somewhere along, usually around the throttle body. And that tells you, it kind of determines what altitude you're at, what the temperature is, because all that makes a big difference when you're dealing with these little compression ratios to make sure that you're getting the right ratio. 
there you have it guys there's a quick overview of how your air intake system works if you're interested in any of the parts that i talked about i'll probably be making videos uh, in the future of everything on how they actually specifically work your throttle body your map airflow sensor your map sensor your temperature sensor anything like that i'll be making those in the future so if you'd like to learn about those make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys later